case studies are a type of descriptive research and it's actually one of the oldest kinds of research not just in psychology but in in medical science as well and if we're thinking about what are case studies well case studies are, are cases where uh, psychologists or doctors are examining one case in, in great detail and they don't study really members of the general population instead we're looking at people who because of either some medical condition or, or something they have done have really sort of extraordinary stories and that's why they become the focus of case studies but this actually leads us to our, our first problem which is that some of the information that's that's gained from case studies can sometimes be hard to apply to the general population because it is so specific to the person who it refers to uh, who the story was about in the first place but even though you can't always apply it to the general population case studies are still extremely important for a number of reasons you know one is that you'll you'll need to know a lot of them to pass psychology and another is that they're just really really fascinating and you know one of the most famous ones that you'll I'm sure hear about in your classes is the story of Phineas Gage and so here's how it goes so Phineas Gage who's the man pictured right here was in a railway accident where the uh, metal bar you're, that he's holding in this picture essentially went right through his skull and you can actually see right where it went and this actually is his skull and so he had this construction accident this bar goes straight through his head he actually essentially walks away from the accident and goes to the hospital and, and as you can see because he's here holding it that he lives but that's actually not you know entirely the, the extraordinary part of the story what's really special about the story is is what happened afterwards and so even though he can walk or talk and basically retain all of those functions his personality went through a major shift whereas before he was thought of as sort of a mild-mannered guy he became incredibly gruff and rude following the accident and what this really starts to show us since the bar only went through a small portion of his brain is that there might be cerebral localization of, of different functions that maybe the part of his brain that the bar went through maybe that part is responsible for personality and not the part that's responsible for for hearing and walking and things like that and so this was actually a really important case and you know we need things like that because it's not like we can really replicate that in the lab, right? I mean, we can't really have people come into the lab and give them head injuries in, in different parts of their brain and, and then see what happens. I mean, I'm sure you would agree that that is unethical. So even though this is sort of a tragic story, it really gives, gave scientists the opportunity to su study something that they wouldn't have otherwise been able to study. However, there's another danger, and that's that uh, narratives can sometimes be way more fascinating than facts. And so stories like the Phineas Gage story are, are a lot easier to remember than just sort of a, a random list of, list of facts about things. And, you know, uh, newspapers writer, newspaper writers know this, and that's why every story about, you know, a, a flood or a tornado or a bank foreclosure always starts out with some story about a, a family or a child. But even with these dangers, they're still extremely interesting and extremely useful in psychology. And if you find them to be particularly interesting, I actually have a book to recommend for you. And that's The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat by Oliver Sacks. And Oliver Sacks writes uh, a whole bunch of different books about different case studies and about people who uh, have lost the ability to see in color or cases where people have lost the, uh, have lost the ability to distinguish between different faces. So even if you know their loved one or their sister was standing in a crowd they wouldn't be able to pick their faces out of the crowd even if they saw them every day 